Hey guys, UWG Nick here, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Dishonored 2. Uh, in the last episode, the ending was absolutely chaotic. We just ended up running around everywhere, having no idea about anything about where we were. As far as I know, we don't... Uh, let's see, do we have a map somewhere? It doesn't really show us where the fuck we are, but I assume we're... There's a courtyard somewhere. Four is an elevator, so if we're here, we have stairs on one side, elevator on one another. Could that be true? It's an exit. All right, you know what? I have no idea where the fuck we are. Uh, we got dangerously close to fighting her in the last episode. And I would like to do this peacefully because I don't know if it's gonna be enough to weigh up, weigh up our high chaos level in the end game uh, if we just do every mission in the peaceful way. But I, I'm hoping. A cash register? Where the fuck are we? No, don't. Oh. Port employee infractions. Big Brother is watching you. Alright, so where the fuck are we? It's a staircase. What are we looking for? Yeah, Curator Ashworth's office. Oculum lens socket. Roseboro prototype. That's the turtle. We just came from there. You know what? Let's head for the lens socket. We've been in here before, I believe. We've run to oh yeah, it's this place. So this could be tampered with. Ashworth could be cut off from the void entirely. No more witchcraft. Sounds like a good idea. Wait, like mm. Activate the reculum. Okay, I guess. Touch of the void. The Lila. It was everything I had. Please, no. What's the Rosebury prototype, though? I want that. Wow, so just by running haywire throughout everything and killing pretty much everything. Alright, we have like a bunch of shit to find in this place still. Don't we? Yeah, we have a few things. Let's go for the... That's the prototype. Can I get it? Is there a way in? Can I just break a window? Son of a bitch! Shouldn't have done that. a wooden door though like I got I got ways to get through wooden doors paintings I can steal or anything well that looks valuable you got any uh any whalebone wait where did we end up with the whalebone ah uh, like one too little right I think so one too few, I think is the correct term. Do you guys have whalebone? 
No? Is there a well bone up there? Hmm. Should have been through here. Oh yeah, it's this place. That also means that her office is now pretty much unguarded. Now I can dig around through her stuff. That's good. Got anything worth anything? Like a uh, security office key or something like that? Just, you know, asking for a friend. Maybe on your table? Done straightening up. Mistress Brianna, like you asked, I stored your autograph recordings in the archive down there in the basement and I tied it up around the oraculum just as you asked. That's a lot of asking. Some of the others were talking about the old lenses you took out of that oraculum device after the accident, saying they were going to bury them lenses forever at the bottom of the ocean. Well, that didn't sound right to me, so I just stored them in the effigies workshop in case you find them some use. All my other chores are done, so I'll go prepare your leech thistle tea. Lech? Lech thistle tea? I'm grateful for the second chance you're giving me. I'm sure over time I'll feel Delilah's presence and learn the magic like my coven sisters. Please don't cast me out. I'll make you and Empress Delilah proud. I promise, Karina. Well, Karina. Delilah, when we can't talk, I write. There are things only you will understand. Daily, I feel my connection to the void growing, and through me, your power calls out to those who would join your coven. New faces, new voices. Our bond is stronger than it was at Brigmore, yet you feel so far away. If we were together, I could say more. It is as if, as if I can see beyond the air into another time or place. You have parted a curtain I never knew was there. Oh, Delilah, strange and beautiful whispers are carried on the breeze. I am forever grateful of being your instrument. Well, now. Thing is, uh, you ain't doing magic no more, bitch. I'm sorry, that's rude. She's, she's, well, come on. She's a, she's a bit of a bitch, okay? Like, not in a sexist way, she just is. She's like occult and evil. So, you know, it's, I think it's, it's pretty fair to say that she's a bitch. Alright, so what else can we dig through? Uh, any paintings you can steal here? There's like a million paintings of shit. This dude is really popular, it seems. I wonder who it is. Oh, there we stole one painting. We were in a bit of a hurry last time we came through here. It's a lot more calm now. What is that? Whalebone sword? Is that like important? Do I get to use the whalebone sword? The fuck? Oh, it's this place with the goddamn plants. The plants seem to be gone now. Ruby. Zirconian grapes. More zirconian grapes. Sleep dart. Could use that. What? Why? Oh, I'm standing in fire. Dumbass. There's nothing of value this way. Like, nothing of any real value. I mean, there's probably money or that but no runes no bone charms what was this then okay weird symbols do you have whalebone by any chance this looks like the kind of place where you'd store whalebone if you had whalebone are those whalebone no I'm not gonna carry a dead body like jeez. Yes. I meant nothing to my fine family. Beyond an advantageous marriage and years of childbearing. They promised me to a man three times my age who wheezed on about our wedding night. But a curious thing happened on the way to the altar, Delilah. From the first time I slipped out of the manor in the dead of night, there was no returning to my cage. Looking at the stars and drinking wine on a rooftop, I was free. Instead of seeing the overseers for marriage, I visited my father's banker and raced away from my old life toward Delilah. Those were the coven's glory days. 
Okay. Anything else of value? Well, we got a shit ton of whalebone now. Now we should be able to make bone charms. Like some actual good bone charms. And what do we want? We want... Actually, I haven't sacrificed them yet, have I? Um, sacrifice bone charms. No bonus, blood side combustion. No. Exact, exacting aim, no. Falling star, ground glider. Ground glider? Slide speed is slightly faster. Ooh, that'd be nice. Robust. No. Spiritual strong arms. That's the one we wanted. And confirm. We should also go with... I don't know, the slide speed sounds pretty cool. It sounds just fun, nothing else. But let's uh, let's go with that one for now. Oh, damn it. Craft bone charm. There. Strong arms. Boom. Strong arms. Strong arms. Strong arms. Now... Give me that shit with no goddamn curses. Boom, no curses. Fan fucking tastic. Now we shall equip. Cause we have a shitty one somewhere, don't we? Unsteady hand, screw that, I think. Yeah. Choke on it, dicks. What's this? Whirlwind. Ah, oh, whirlwind has that many. Mana regen is slightly slower. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Just for fun, we should try doing the slide one. Two and ore. All right. Okay, so this is where it came up. Into this then. Black bone charm, void armor. What the fuck is that? Uh, that would be you in that case. Void armor. When you take damage, a significant portion is instead subtracted from mana. Hmm. 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 Nah. Nah. I, I, I like my powers. And, uh... As little as I've been using them... I've been started using them more. Black Bone Charm notes. I've set out to craft a new Bone Charm, and I hope to have it blackened. In keeping with those of greater power, it will complement the one I've carried since finding it with a mausoleum in Alba. Though it's rare to meet others touched by the void, summoners beware, for as long as I carry that bone charm, their rats and vermin will turn against them, and the new charm, if it works, will shield me against assassins. I'm still working on my protective charms. I've taken the Tivian Grey Bone recipe and altered it using much more bird rock root. The instructions were vague, and the safeguards it offers are weak. Neither chamomile nor nostrum added to the mix gave me the right effect. Though they perfume the air quite nicely, I feel well protected from unpleasant smells, but not much else. I finally got it. Hellbore, of course. Fermented and reduced over low flame, it's rare to achieve this effect, where the bone charm turns darkest black. As I wanted, I'm warded against the first bullet or bolt from an assassin's, assassin's weapon. The initial shot that would fell me will instead change to blood flies in an instant. Where do I get that one? Or is that what I got? Like, is that what happens? It doesn't just drain mana, it turns the attack into blood flies. Anything else of value here? Like, shit, people, this is a crazy ass room. Alright. So we have one more black bone charm. Oh, come on. There it is. What is this? Sh 
shivering silhouette. Enemies miss more often with ranged attacks. Armored bones. This is the one. Your movement speed is reduced. Again, not super so stoked about that. It's nice and all, but I like movement speed. The Foreign Curse, written and researched by Tabitha Alba. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, wow. So that's the elevator. Okay. I no need to go there. Let's see. Now we still have this. Roseboro Prototype. We've been here though. So I guess I need to just go down. But in that case, I am going to. Where did I see it? There's one. Boom, -doo 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 -doo. We're gonna blow up the door. Um, run down. Don't know exactly how sensitive these are, but I'm not gonna be jumping around too much with them. I think. Maybe a little bit jumping. Oh shit. We're good, guys. It's cool. It's cool. What are you talking about? High chaos. This is sneaky as shit. Anything? No. Anything here? It's a button. Can I push the button now? Cool. Um, not quite sure what that was. Oh, maybe it was uh, like you go in, you steal, and then you break a window and run away. Or you can just finish the quest and then just walk around and loot afterwards. Secure the room key. Great. I can get in here. Are you still swinging? Holy shit. Thank you very much. Oh, there's probably a trap, like, when you lift it. So you need to rewire that thing. Otherwise, you do that and everything drops and everybody's like, Oh my god, he's stealing shit. Alright. Shopkeeper, 173 meters. Do we still have a quest? How do I get to that? Nothing? Okay. Boom! There are your... Ooh. Ooh, triggered housing. That sounds great. Grenades. Love it. Alright. Um... So there's still one quest here. Assist the shopkeeper. Oh, but that's deliver it. Yeah, so I can just fuck off. That's right. We are outie. Pump. Are we out now? Is this outside? You're shitting me, right? Why is this... Why is a mechanical turtle here? It's supposed to do something? I don't know. Ooh, frame drop. Ah, there's the door. Now we'll be seeing guards again. Guards, I don't feel like dealing with. It. 
Oh shit. Yeah, we killed everything here as well. God damn it, we did everything. No, 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 no. I thought we did everything. Turns out we didn't do everything. What? Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not dwell. I expect you'll be interested in payment. First, your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair deal. All right. Welcome back. Please take your time. What? Blind All enemies cost us witches to flee. Locked up in the conservatory where no one can see them. Deep hollow blind enemies cost a wolf hound to flee. Well, that's not good. Let's see. I have some upgrade plans oh, for your Oh, I have a lot of money. Where's the grenade one? Yes, please. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. I need this for, to get that. Mm -hmm. I look forward to the day when I can reopen my gallery. Yeah. Those were good back then. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. No, not really, no. I'll be using it soon. And uh, what is all the way over there? Yeah. Screw this you, I'm outie. And keep a close watch on your So it's done. It is. won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. You never know who to trust, do you? Everybody makes mistakes, Empress. You'll have to tell me all your secrets someday. Are you ready to leave now? Yes, let's go. Let's, let's go. Now we're going to get the worst rating. Well. Another step toward the Duke of Circonos and Delilah. We're going to get the worst fucking rating. Uh, actually, not not the worst. Uh, <laughs> 16 total killed. Didn't kill anyone. Uh, oh, wait. I did kill. Like, sorry, I thought they were talking about civilians. Mm, civilians, zero. Hostiles, total, yes. Alarms rung, zero. Bodies detected, 17. 33 detections, are you kidding me? We did, what? 7 out of 9 bone charms, what the fuck? Huh. How did I not notice that there were bone charms left? Shit. Blueprints, 2 out of 4. Oh, well. We did all the quests, at least. Alright, continue. I don't know if you can change, like, if you can go back and replay the missions to get a better rating to change, like, your chaos level. You probably can. And, uh, who knows, maybe I'll do that. Also, it was, the whole Delilah situation was really, like, uh, quite anticlimactic if you think about it like how the last episode ended and how this one began we just click click done pretty lame oh well
For several years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke, the owner of Karnaka's mines. Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. Are, are we gonna do the void thing again? I'm not gonna run through that, so too much text. I don't really know what this thing does, this whole... Oh wow, that's the whalebone sword, isn't it? Did I get that as well from somewhere? Does that mean that there's like two treasures left that I need to find? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Intriguing. Anybody here? No? Anybody here? Oh, machine room. That's a big fish. Ugly fucking eyes. This deserves a fish tail. Almost. Making is out in the city, but I'll explain. Why are you painting her? Emily, it's true, I don't tinker with mechanical devices much anymore, but I'm not so old as to be useless just yet. Behold, I have fashioned a little contrivance for you using only parts scavenged from this wretched vessel. Vessel. Yes, all right, a few bits were currently in use, but I assure you no one were involved in keeping us afloat. Say nothing to Megan, as her disposition needs no further souring. In any case, this device... May this device serve you, I'll suck along. It's a stun mine. I guess I was supposed to find these, like, ages ago, and I just didn't. Oh yeah, this is this place. All right, let's go talk to you. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first, through a ruin created by the Duke where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Howlow is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Seeing uh, this place and these people, I can feel my perspective changing. How will I be different after this? Um. The Dust District. <laughs> I've read about the winds coming through the cleft in Shindere Peak. How the city uses it for windmills and mining operations. Um... The Vice Overseer for Karnaka, Liam Byrne. 
Paolo's not that old, but there's so much living written into the lines of his face. Aramis Stilton's home looks more like a bunker than a mansion. The silver spike on overseers. Eh. On howlers. Alright, so this is kind of supposed to help me decide. Well, let's read it then. We don't need the Abbey. Take heed, friends. The Abbey seeks to control our city and our lives. The overseers are building chapels and outposts, taking advantage of the despair in the crumbling corners of Circonos, like our own infamous Dust District. You may have seen the sly propaganda from my learned rival, Sebastian Armitage, but consider with care the Abbey will invade your homes, looking for evidence of witchcraft or wrongdoing. And to them all matter... Ah. And to them, all manner of possessions are suspicious. They imprison and torture the innocent with the intent of extracting confessions. They frown on dancing, drinking, and gatherings. Are you prepared to abandon the gleaner's feast? Are you ready to submit completely as they demand? The Dust District can only be saved by the very people who have lived here all their lives, like me, like you, like Paolo and his howlers, trying to make things better for us small people, patrolling our streets, collecting and distributing resources to the ones in need, if more of us had Paul's courage, maybe the dust trick could be called Batista again. Oh, right. The Howler Blight. The letter published last week by the Gazette was an outrage. How could Madame Anto suggest that the dust district and even Karnaka itself would be better off if we legitimized Paolo and his Howlers in any way? Instead, decent folks should hope to wake one morning and read that Paul is finally dead or in jail. And why should we be wary? Ah of the abbey only a witch need worry about the wrath of the overseers the howlers are nothing but a bunch of cutthroats who never worked today in their lives everything they have they stole if you want their so-called protection it comes at a price on the contrary the overseers have dedicated their lives to spreading the good values of the seven strictures believe me the dust in batista is not in our streets but in our hearts and the only abbey will and only the abbey will make us clean again well shit so i'm gonna have to kill one of them i guess with Ashworth eliminated, that should hamper Delilah's plans. I don't know Duke Luca Abel, but Corvo served under Luca's father and said Theodanus was a good man. Well, shit. What's that? It's me. Any runes or hearts? Speaking of runes, don't we have power stuff right? Let's check that. Powers, I have two runes. Hmm. 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 Pretty cool. I've been using this a lot. Let's do that. So does that mean that if I it seems oh. that you're even odder than I imagined. I played witness to many strange sights. So now this Okay. I see. But I can't use it while flying through the air with the thingamajig. Ready now. So what I was thinking was using uh, far reach to pull myself somewhere, and in the middle of that pull, change directions to another place. Seemed not to work. Ready. I'll get you as close as I can. You must travel through the Dust District to Armis Stilton's Manor, which contains more of Delilah's secrets. Vice Overseer Byrne and his religious followers are at war with Paolo, leader of the Howler Gang. Either Byrne or Paolo will aid you for a favor. Hmm. Wind Blast? What is Wind Blast? Can I get those kinds of powers as well? Have I missed something? Who was the man I'm after? Aramis Stilton? An ally to the old duke. 
Loyal and smart. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Started as a miner, and worked his way up until he was a prince of industry. But now, the new duke drives the mine crews night and day. Dust falls non-stop onto the district. What was once prosperous is now in ruins. I suppose the duke doesn't care, as long as he sips from silver cups. And what are the cups at Dunwall Tower made from, Empress? Whale bone. In case you have to pass through the dust district to reach Stilton's home. Maybe he's still in there. Or maybe he's dead. A lot of maybes there, dude. Find Megan once you reach the dust district. She'll tell you more. District. I'll wait here with this skiff and take you back to the dreadful whale after you finish. Anything worth looting? Huh, I wasn't full on health potions, that's rare. High proof flicker. Raw whale bone. Great. Sharpen the blade. Hope that helped. Oh, yes. Perfectly sharp now. Oh, we're going this way? Yes, we are. a bit of a look around. Does that power anything? No. Uh, don't know how big this district is, but it looks really big. Of course, that's just an illusion that the developers have created. It won't be that large, I believe. Okay. So here we go. We're losing too many people. Good soldiers blinded by that hallucinogenic powder the howlers use. Then stabbed to death or dragged down by the Abbey's hounds. One young lieutenant got hit by an overseer grenade, and that was it. She was one of the Duke's distant cousins or something. Shit. Let's hope they do enough damage to each other so the fight goes out of them. And that won't happen until someone manages to kill either Paolo or Vice Overseer Bro. Oh, the Abbey's got set up. Shit, 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 shit. Who's there? Let's have a ball. Let's see. Ain't nobody there. Dick bags. Nothing here? I thought I saw someone right here. Let's check the place just in case. Fucker, why does it always start like this for me? God damn! No use running! He's running towards you, asshole. Fine, you wanna play? Let's play. And well, that's it. Right, let's load that again, because I ain't getting caught on the first fucking second with this shit. God fucking damn it. Alright, so don't stay and listen to them, just fucking bolt. Once you reach the dust district, she'll tell you more. I'll wait here with this skill. What did I find? Raw whale bone was good, and then I found a health potion. That was about it, I think. 
Get the fuck over there. Nothing there. Kill rat. Sneak. There. Done. Fuck with then stabbed to death or dragged down by the Abbey's hounds. One young lieutenant got hit by an overseer grenade, and that was it. Give me that money. What, really? Nothing? Dicks. That won't happen until someone manages to hunt the Paulo or Vice Overseer Burr. And I don't see you or me beating a bad with a grown man. Always conflict, power, greed, lust. For me, what I wouldn't give just to hold your hand in mine one more time. Yeah, okay. Um, there's a shitload of stuff again. I should get used to it by now, but. Tired of cleaning silver dust out of my ears. I'm hungry. Palace. That's an assignment. All apples and slippers. Hear these damn windmills in my sleep. That's not dust, lady. Okay, that's dust. That was debris at first. Holy shit. So what am I supposed to do now? Oh, it just stops after a while? Right, will the dust overpower something or? You know, Lord. Mine collapses, numerous casualties. A representative from the Miners Family Committee, committee reports that another silver mine has partially collapsed, leaving eight miners injured and killing 12. The committee maintains that the Duke's unrealistic production goals were the true culprit, citing the overlong shifts that have been in practice since mine owner Aramis Stilton disappeared. The mines are now managed directly by the Grand Palace until such a time as Stilton returns or until a new director can be found. However, the Grand Palace official statement blamed the collapse of the, on human error and threatened to arrest anyone found guilty of demoralizing the people of Karnaka. We at the Karnaka Gazette certainly support the effort to maintain Sir Kronos' unity. Our thoughts go, out, go to the families of those injured or killed. Okay, so there's trouble at the mines. Now, what is my goal? Okay, that thing's powered down now. How groovy. Wait a minute. Room 40 meters that way. Let's lock that. Fuck, I can't kill you. Don't make noise. Keep wondering, dude. <laughs> um. I 
I think that sword, slashing them with the sword would make too much noise. You actually came up there. You didn't climb all the way, though. I imagine that. Yes. I'm sure. No, you're not sure. You imagined it. Trust me. Imagination. Someone shoot! Did you hear that? That makes a lot of noise too. To be honest, apparently. I shouldn't be too surprised though. I wonder what I'm dealing with. Where are you exactly? Over there, over there. Where do I get if I climb out here? Where the fuck is that room? Fifty meters that way. All right, so it's not here. This was just an alternative path. Unfortunate, because we burnt a lot of flame arrows on that. There we go. Um. How exactly? There has to be another way in there. get quiet as well when the game like gets quiet there's probably a good way to get up there and I didn't do it but that won't help me at least we're sneaking fast I heard people, so it might be... Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's you, Megan. Hello, Emily. Stilton's Hello. home is just beyond here. But getting inside will take some effort. I've been doing reconnaissance. Talking to people. The overseers and the howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Can I do neither? Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. What else do you know that might help me? Burn is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers. But I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets. Or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. Well now. Or find another way. See, that's what I, that's what I'm thinking. 
Let's find another way, because I think that's the peaceful version. Sad news, Agatha, you can probably guess the reason for my letter. He died last night. He seemed a little better and took some broth. Little Al even got him laughing a bit, but the laughing turned to coughs. That lasted for about an hour, then it stopped real sudden. Like he didn't have the strength to cough no more. Then he sort of spit up some black and some more came out his nose. I tried to get him to cough it all out. I turned him on his side and slapped his back and put boiled onions on his chest. But it weren't no use and he died like that. Eyes bulging out and that black stuff everywhere. I'm taking the children moving back to Redmore. We never should have come here in the first place. Jillian. Alright. Black stuff out of nose and mouth and dead. That's uh... That's raw whalebone right there. Huh. Now that's an alarm. This is the Duke of Circonus. Been told that people are complaining about dust from the mines falling on the city. Yes. War is expensive. You may not be aware that our silver mines Should I try to break that? Ah. Worked. Pickaxe. Maybe the appropriate punishment for the Duke is a life sentence in the mines. Maybe. Heyo, Rune. Let's... how the fuck did we get in here there? I think that's a howler. Seems. Jimmy's sister says it's a gimmick. All right. Like he wore it a real locksmith who made it. No, this was built by Kieran Jindosh. Scary smart. He's the one who made the clockwork soldiers for the Duke. Maybe just solve it. No, can't do it. Machines that kill people. You can keep your money, I'm not touching it. Huh, okay. So what exactly we're we looking at here? This this first area seems to be like neutral territory, pretty much. Get the cigars tomorrow. Wanna buy one? Um, 13 meters. Ain't no windows open. Impaled overseer mask. What do you do when two of your enemies are killing each other? Making kiss and make up? A map. That'll be useful. Okay. I'm gonna try to sneak a little bit more in this level. See if we can make it. Blood fly nest. Do you think? Loud. Mm. 
nothing. Brick wall door locked. Oh, it's blocked. I can get there in there from the outside if I want to. Don't care right now. So what is this room? Now? Now, where's that prune or bone charm nearby thing? Behind that, you boy. Don't mind if I do. Angel fish scales. I thought it was money. Where I came from. Ah. Are those hollers pretending to be dogs? I guess they are. We are going to end this episode real soon. It's not fully an hour yet, but it's getting close, and I got a lot of things to do today. So, unfortunately, I don't have time to. Over time, this though, this is a very interesting, sadly, a very interesting place to break it off. I would enjoy playing more, but yes, we are going to end the episode staring at this lovely dinner table set for what six people, something like that. Uh, so that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And in the next episode, we will continue our trek through the dust district and I will actually try to start being a little bit more sneaky because that high chaos level kind of bugs me. I would like to have a better ending when we finish the game. But all that will happen in the next episode because for now it is bye bye.